Hello everybody, this is Moody El Shahabi. Today in our tutorial, we are going to create a 3D logo animation with Adobe After Effects CC 2019. And we are going to create a template as well so that it will be an easy job for us in the future to just replace our logo to any other new logo and we still get the same animation effect in a blink of an eye. So let's start. I'm gonna start here with opening my Adobe After Effects CC 2019 of course um, create a new composition let's name it main composition I'm gonna customize the preset here um, I'm gonna set it up to the HD size 1280 by 720 here we have um, 30 frames per second I'm gonna set the duration for 10 seconds and hit OK and I might as well gonna create another composition for my uh, for my logo. Composition new composition. I will name it logo. I will set the presets here for the size. Um, let's say five hundred pixels by five hundred, and I will leave the rest as it is. next thing i'm gonna do is of course import my logo it's an ai file it comes in as a composition but later on we can delete this extra composition as we don't need it i just need the logo i need the file it says composition layer size okay here it is here is my logo i can delete this composition i don't need it you can import your logo as a PNG file or however you saved it. I'm gonna hold and drag this layer or this logo into the logo composition. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit so it fits my size. If you hit just S from the keyboard, you can just find the scale button here. That looks good, okay. And I'm gonna have to save it. Let's say I will save it to the desktop. Let's name it like 3D logo tutorial. Now I'm gonna go to the main composition and hold and drag the logo composition into the main composition. I'm gonna remove this black background and might as well add another one white. Sorry, background that's white. Drag it to the bottom so you can see the logo and here i'm gonna look for a gradient effect um you can type gradient ram there it is you just hold it and drag it on the background just like that i'm gonna swap colors or switch colors you can name it as you want and give it here a radial ramp hold it drag it to the middle and from the bottom side, just drag it outside the frame. I'm going to change this black color to the lighter color. Yes. Just move it a little bit until you reach out to the color combination that you want next thing we have to do is to create um, an expression for our logo composition just hold the P from the keyboard and hold alt and click and you can just copy and paste this expression you will find it below the, the video in the description Just make sure you write it exactly the same way as it is now. And next thing we have to do is to make our logo composition as a 3D from this icon right here. Just click on this icon here. I'm gonna scale down just my logo just just a little bit 
all right in order for us to um to create the 3d we have to duplicate our main composition our main logo composition for like 20 25 times here i'm gonna look for an effect called exposure i'm gonna apply this exposure effect on the top layer of my logo just give it um like minus one or minus two just something simple and then I'm gonna go to the last layer, the last layer of my logo, and I'm gonna apply a drop shadow effect. Just hold it and drag it on the layer. Just gonna play a little bit with the presets here, like the softness, just increase it a little bit, maybe eight or nine. You can see the effect here of the drop shadow, okay. next we have to do is to create a new camera so we can actually start our animation if you go to layer new camera i always set it at like 50 millimeters go to camera again and just hold the um the camera button and just try to move our logo so you can actually see the thickness of the logo so you can see if you just happy with this thickness of your logo of your 3d or not now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create um the animation for this logo if you can just hit the p button from the from the keyboard it will appear the position I'm gonna create two keyframes. The first one I will just take like three, four seconds away, and that will be the final position. And the first one I will try to make it with the camera. So I can just move and scale my my logo. I want to come from the back to the front, so that's that's it. Now you see how it works. I'm gonna select those two keyframes and easy ease them. I go to the graph editor and I try to smooth the movement a little bit more. You just keep going around those uh, points in the graph editor until you reach out to the speed of the animation logo that you that you like. I'm gonna here apply another effect on my logo. He can just go to the effect and presets and look for CC light sweep. Just hold it and drag it on the first layer, on the top layer of your logo. You can see the shining now on the logo. I'm gonna change my parameters here a little bit, sharp. I just here trying to increase the the sharpness and the thickness of this of this light. For us to create the animation for this light just hit the center icon here just move it like two or three seconds and then you have to move the light to the end of the composition if you go to the logo and just press U you can control those keyframes, easy ease them. 
you can also go to the graph editor control how they how they move the speed either fast or slow as you like let's see how it works I think it's a little fast I'm gonna go to the graph editor again I'm gonna move it out a little bit so it's kind of slow at the end and it's not so fast at the beginning let's see how it works again okay that looks better go again to the graph editor for my logo it's kind of going down fast I'm gonna slow it down a little bit I'm gonna slow it down even more now it's going down just fine and so that's how the logo animation in the 3d with the light effect looks like finally and uh, now what we are gonna do is try to replace our logo to another logo and we will see just that we get the effect in just just by changing the logo in a blink of an eye let's see how it works Here is my logo. I'm gonna import a different logo. Let's say I'm gonna take this letter M. I'm just gonna hold it and drag it in the logo composition. Just remove the eye from the main logo and now we have the new logo. If you go to the main composition you will just find the change happens just like magic. Now we can just get the same effect just by changing the logo. And in this case, if you had any changes in the main logo composition, like if you give it like a scale, let's say we're gonna create a keyframe here. The first one, move it after a second. And the first one, let's say, we'll give it like a 0%. So it comes from nothing to 100% in a, in a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ease, ease them. If you go to the main composition, you will find the new logo animation already applied. And that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it easy to create your template in Adobe After Effects. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.